Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will be configuring and then deploying live two crypto trading grid bots on two different platforms. The first platform that I'll be deploying the bot on will be Bitscap, and then the other platform I'll be deploying pretty much the same bot on will be BitUniverse. Now, before we get too far into the weeds, you can actually get started on Bitscap for free. They offer a 14-day free trial, and I'll drop a link in the description down below, and if you'll actually get to use their pro plan for that 14-day trial. And after your 14-day free trial expires, you can sign up for the $19 a month basic plan. That will allow you to deploy two active trading bots, or if you think you're going to deploy more, you could step up to the advanced plan. That will allow you to deploy five active trading bots. And for myself, I use the pro plan. I generally have somewhere between five to 10 active trading bots on this particular platform. Now in the other corner of the battle of the bots is BitUniverse. And their platform is apparently free. You can deploy an unlimited number of grid trading bots. But remember, free isn't always better. And I see a lot of questions over on the Recon Trader Telegram group, which I will leave a link to in the description down below, of people asking how can they offer the grid bots for free. And the only thing I can figure out is they are actually trying to get you to join their exchange, which is Pionex. Now that's a whole nother subject of its own. The reality is I tried to do some recon on Pionex and there's not a whole lot there. If you jump over to CoinGecko and do a search for the exchange, uh, CoinGecko actually has a list of all the major exchanges. They're nowhere to be found. And if you jump over to CoinMarketCap, all you find is an about page and that it is actually an untracked listing, even though it looks like it deployed back in 2019. Coin Market Cap doesn't have any information about the Point X exchange, and that's a huge red flag to me right out the gate. And so, with that being said, remember free isn't always better, and you really need to do your own recon before you start deploying bots on this platform. Now, let's get to actually deploying the bots, and we're going to start with Bitscap. And once you log into Bitscap, you would First of all, connect your exchange to Bitscap by going to the Exchange tab and clicking on Add Exchange. And at that point, you would be able to select from a list of exchanges and add your exchange. Once you've added your exchange, you can then jump over to the Bots tab. And from the Bots dashboard, you can begin to configure your bot. And they actually have two options. You can go with their Classic Bot or their S Bot. The classic bot tends to work best when the price action is trending up, where the S bot tends to work best on when the price action is moving sideways and perhaps trending up slightly. In this situation, I'm going to deploy the S bot because from what I can tell, that will be similar to what the Bit Universe bot will be doing. Next, I need to select my exchange, and the only exchange I have connected to BitUniverse right now is KuCoin. I could select from any of these exchanges that I have connected on Bitscap, but I want to try my best to compare apples to apples, so I select KuCoin as my exchange. Next, I need to select the pair, and I'm going to be trading Luna, USDT, and then I need the investment amount that I'm actually going to deploy. And if I scroll down, I can look at my current balance of Luna that I actually hold is 28. So I'm going to try to deploy around 14 on each grid bot along with the equivalent USDT that's required to fill all the grids. So I can actually move my slider and it will start to tell me how much Luna is actually being dedicated to this particular bot. And I'll just keep sliding until I get into the 14 zone. So it looks like 1379 is as close as I'll be able to get. And next, I need to complete the lower price and the upper price. And what I look for on my grid bots is prior support and prior resistance for the two levels. And for my upper level, I typically shoot for prior resistance, which would be around the 1968 range in this situation. And a benefit I know that Bitscap has 
that bit universe does not have is the trailing up feature and i always enable that and when the price action moves up out of the kill zone i want the grid to follow it so that i'm still executing trades and making profit and then for the lower level I would look for prior support and in this case there's 1425 but I want to give this bot a little more room to maneuver and so we come down into around this support area which is 1261 and I'm actually going to make that 1260 and with now my upper and my lower price set you can see the current price is right about in the middle of this grid. And that should allow for the volatility of movement up and down because what I need the bot to do is to buy the dips each time it hits one of these green grid lines, which are actual limit orders, it will buy on the green side. And then the red lines are sell limit orders. So if you look at this choppiness, for example, right in this area, Every time it went down, it would have bought. Every time it went up, it sold. So there's a lot of volatility there. And in theory, that should be producing profit as it buys low, sells high. And that's what I'd be looking for out of this particular bot is some volatility between the lower and the upper level. And as you can see, this price can go higher. And with the trailing up feature enabled, I can actually follow it higher. Now, Bit Universe doesn't have that feature. So once it breaches this upper level, that bot will be done. Now, moving on to my grid step and my grid levels. This will determine how many actual grids I have for the bot and the spacing between the grids. And I'm going to adjust the grid levels, the number of grids to say 49. And that puts the grid step or spacing to almost 1%. That's a little higher than normal, although I have bots deployed with that level of spacing. Let's click the back test. Another feature that Bit Universe does not offer. So again, free is not always going to be better. They have actually less features. And we can see that it's only producing 1% over a three-day period. I typically shoot for 1% per day profit with my grid bots. However, because I'm holding some extra Luna and I wanted to do this comparison, I'm willing to sacrifice a little on the profit side to see a side-by-side -side comparison. In addition to the back test results, don't guarantee future results. And what I'm actually looking for out of Luna is we've come down, we've sold off down into the $15 range and it is starting to recover. And so what I'm actually looking for is if this bot recovers back up into where we're getting prior resistance, there is a good probability that I'll be achieving that 1% profit per day. So that's another factor when I'm looking at grid bots before I deploy them. I don't just look at the back test as the holy grail to what results I expect. I also do some technical analysis and try to look forward rather than backwards and determine if the price action might generate more profit in the future. So now we have our upper lower price. We have our grid spacing set up. Now I'm going to test this a little more and rather than the 49 grid levels, I'm going to throw in some more grid spacing and see if that improves our back test at all. That did not. So we'll jump it back to 49 and move on to the last two options, which is take profit and stop loss. Now the take profit would allow me to stop the bot once a certain level of profit had been achieved by the bot. So I could plug in 10% at the point that the bot reaches 10%, it would actually stop the bot and lock in that profit. I actually allow my bots to run long-term and I'm not as focused on the take profit. I'm more focused on the accumulation of profit. And then next, stop loss. Now, stop loss is mandatory. Not using a stop loss is like going into battle without armor. Eventually, you're going to get killed. So I will click the enable button on the stop loss. I'm going to set that at an even 12. And that'll bring it right back into this level of brief support. And I also want to point out, I've done my research on Luna. I've been trading Luna for a little while now. It's not a crap coin. 
So if I get stuck holding Luna for a while, I'm perfectly fine with that. It's a project that's going to be around for a long time. And with that being said, I avoid trading crap coins because I have no desire to get stuck with them. And that is pretty much it for the setup. I'd be ready to hit start. But first, I want to configure the Bit Universe bot and try to deploy them at the same time. So after you sign up with Bit Universe and log in, now let me start by saying I do not recommend you signing up with Bit Universe. There's nothing here that I would feel comfortable referring you to Bit Universe. I personally think it's on the risky side. And I'm actually willing to take this risk for all of you subscribers out there. And I'll take the $500 hit if something happens. So with that out of the way, let's get to configuring this bot. The first issue I see is the chart itself. One, it doesn't have all the grid lines on it. That's not a big deal. I can draw grid lines myself with the tools available from TradingView. And I'm not going to actually draw in all the grid lines, but I can draw in prior resistance and prior support however looking at this one hour chart i see a problem it's got the current price at 1629 if we jump back over to bitsgap it has a price at 16 dollars i'm going to jump over to the trusted trading view and see what price we're at on the trading view right at 16 dollars another issue with your free platform is their chart is off by 30 cents that does not instill confidence at all also what i notice now that i'm looking at it their charts off by several candles jump over to trading view here is this big down candle which is this big down candle then they have a couple red candles which are actually green candles and i'm on the one hour chart and I'm on the one hour Qcoin chart, and this is on my Qcoin account, so, and it's Luna USDT. Let's see if I just jump from one chart back to the one hour if it refreshes. Well, it refreshes and it gets worse. It lost more candles and just has the one big down candle. Again, I can't stress enough, this is your free platform. I guess I can't complain because it's free. I would just expect it to be accurate. But I will proceed as I'm willing to do this experiment before you all travel down this road and get ambushed by an inferior product. So we might as well get to configuring this thing. And you can see over here on the right hand side of the screen the option for trading bot. And it says sideways bullish. So to me that means sideways, moving sideways, maybe bullish, which would be similar to what the S bot does. And so I click create. And you have a choice to use AI strategy, basically their strategy, or set myself. So I click on set myself. And now I need to determine my lower price and my upper price. And again, if I didn't have the advantage of using Bitscap and I needed to draw in my own levels, I believe we're around the 1970 levels. And then for the lower, I think we're around 1250. Now, of course, I don't know how accurate this chart actually is, given that it's off on the current price. Yeah, they've got that support somewhere around 1270, but I'm not surprised that it's off. But you could draw in your resistance for your upper level. And as you saw, I drew in the lower level for support. And that would come up with my levels for the upper and lower limit. Now, I want this to be similar to the Bitscap. So I'm actually going to jump back to Bitscap. And it's 1260 and 1968. So those are the numbers I'm actually going to plug in to the lower is going to be 1260. And my upper price will be 1960. I think it was 88, 881. And then the number of grids... We had 49. Now to be clear, this is my first time walking through this. I've not used this platform in the past. So you might have to bear with me as I try to figure this out. It's not nearly as straightforward as the Bitscap platform. All right, so I think I have this figured out. Now I need to figure out how much Luna I want it to use per quantity grid. So it's not a big deal. Math for me is easy, but Bitscap does that math for me. So again, free versus something you pay for. So let me figure out the math real quick. All right, so that took a moment. I got to be honest. Had to do a whole lot of math and a whole lot of guessing 
to get this to equal to what I had over on Bitscap. And so I had to plug in how much Luna per spacing and that ended up with a required balance of 404 USDT. And it would basically take 13.77 Luna because again, I was actually trying to give each bot around 14 Luna to execute these trades. And so the combined amount I'll be deploying on this bot is $404. On Bitsgap, it is $502, so there's a bit of a difference there, but to me, the key is the amount of Luna is around that 14. And so I have my lower limit at 12.6 USDT and my upper limit at 19.688 USDT. Total grids of 49. That locks in my profit per grid at a range of 75 to 1.7. And even though this is free, I feel like they ought to be paying me to deploy this bot after what I had to go through to figure some of this out. And I've been deploying bots on crypto since 2017. I've done some Forex bots in the past as well. Nonetheless, moving on. Stop loss, I think we had that at 12. I can plug in my exchange fee and that's gonna be 0 0.08 on Qcoin as my fees are paid in the Qcoin exchange coin. And I think we're actually ready to deploy this bot as best as I know. Kind of concerned about the fact that their chart is wrong. We'll just pull the trigger, click create. And it says created successfully. And so we'll jump over here to Bitscap and click start. And the Luna bot was started. And so now I have my Luna USD bot launched on Bitscap on Qcoin. And let's see if we can figure out my trading bots. And so now that bot is launched and somehow already has 1% unrealized profit. I don't put much weight in that, seeming how the chart was wrong in the beginning of the launch. So both bots are deployed. And I'll be doing an update video in the very near future on how the bots are performing. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have questions or comments, feel free to leave those down in the comment section down below. I will leave a link to Bitscap in the description down below. I'm not actually comfortable leaving a link to BitUniverse. I wouldn't actually recommend using BitUniverse yet to you guys until I've actually run it through the live fire test. And with that being said, remember, never send your money into battle without doing your recon. I'll see you in the next video.